Hey, welcome to the video series on Zoosign for Developers. If you are someone who is looking to add digital signature functionality onto your application, then you are at the right place to get started. Nobody likes to go through the monotonous jobs of printing, scanning, and signing documents. Most businesses have pile of documents to be signed every day, including HR documents, finance documents, invoices, quotations, etc. Let's see how we can streamline the process with Zoosign. Zoosign is now offering REST APIs and SDKs so that developers can embed eSign functionality into any application of their choice. Zoho signed REST APIs based on industry standard OAuth 2.0 protocol for authorization and secure app interactions. All right, in this video tutorial, I am going to explain the very basics of getting started with our APIs. Let's get into the following three cases. First. Registering a new client. Second, defining the required scopes. Third, generating required tokens for authorization. Let's begin with registering a new client. First, you have to register your application with Zoho API Console to get your client ID and client secret. For this, visit api-console.zoho.com and log in with your Zoho account credentials. Now, click. Add client and select self client options as this is tailor made for testing purpose and generating codes. You will be then provided with a client ID and client secrets. Please keep them confidential as they are not meant to be shared with others. Now switch to sign.zoho.com select settings ap tokens deployment option and then click get started here paste the client id and client secret in the appropriate fields back in api console choose the generate code option as you can see multiple scopes can be specified separated by commas when generating this authorization code. For example, Zoho sign.templates.all includes all possible scopes including document and template creation. Once the complete scope is defined, click create. This generated code can be copied and pasted into the Zoho sign system. Once the pasted code is in Zoho sign, click generate refresh token button. Now that you have got your refresh token, you can make a post request using tools like Postman to the URL as shown with the given parameters to generate your access token. This access token can be passed in the header and the authorization header value should be Zoho-OAuth token. The refresh token is permanent and will be used to regenerate new access tokens whenever the existing access token expires. An access token is only valid for one hour. Once it expires, your application must use the refresh token to generate a new access token. There you go. Now you can fire your first API call to Zoho Sign. We have made our APIs available in Postman collection so that developers like you can access it easily. That's all in this video tutorial. Hope you find it really useful. In the upcoming videos, we'll walk you through document management and template management using Zoho Sign APIs. If you are in need of any technical assistance, feel free to drop us an email to support at zohosign.com. Thank you for watching.